Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mesma channel. Today I want to share a method I came up with recently to make shulkers respawn inside ant cities such as this uh, using command blocks. The idea is to make the shulkers respawn in a confined area but still have the most natural behavior possible. Basically shulkers won't respawn once you, once you kill them and I'm changing this in in this way. So, uh, while I talk about the method, I want to show you the results uh, that this method is achieving for now. And I have this device here. This is not the machine itself. This is just something to aid me. Basically, if I get too close to a shulker, this command block will make them disappear. So now I want to investigate this fortress with you guys and hopefully we will find a bunch of them. Uh, doesn't seem to be any here. Oops, <laughs> actually there is one here, so if I get next to this guy, he should disappear, so that in the future he can uh, respawn there. Uh, the places where they will spawn are completely random, uh, they can spawn basically anywhere, and the method is really simple, I don't need like tons of structures or armor stands or any kind of entities around here to make they keep respawning. Uh, and of course I will explain, I will reveal the magic in the end of the video and you guys can see that they basically will spawn everywhere um, and uh, they, they won't also spawn like crazy because this is not how shulkers are supposed to work in the game and uh, they will also not spawn in packs because I don't believe, I, I'm not sure, but I don't believe shulkers spawn in packs. So this is something I try to take care of. So usually you see two of them together, maybe three, but uh, nothing, nothing too far from that. And another one spawned down there. Let's check the ship. There's usually at least one inside the ship. So let's check this. Uh, doesn't seem to be, oh yes, another one here. So make this disappear. And yeah, guys, now you have an idea of, of how this will behave. So basically, you can keep flying around another one spawn right here and fighting these guys for, for the loot. Oh, this guy spawned upside down here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> especially, this, is, this, is, this will be especially cool when I reveal to you guys how I'm doing this, how I'm, I'm respawning the shoulder. So yeah, if you have an Elytra, you can click... You can keep flying around and then killing more and more shulkers, farming them in a fair way here. So yeah, I think it's it's a good time as any to show you guys how this works. So down here, there's a mysterious box. So let's open this, try to be careful here. And here are the command blocks. So it's basically one clock uh, that will, uh, from time to time, fire of the system here. Uh, so this is based on on this. Uh, every time an Enderman is standing on top of a of a purple block, which are the ones you can find inside the fortresses, and the player is far enough, the the Enderman will turn into a shulker, <laughs> just like this. Uh, there are some 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 mechanisms to prevent this for example the player cannot be next to it so you this is to avoid players from if they if they eventually uh, figure out the system they're not going to push the 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 enderman on top of a purple block because if they are next to enderman then uh, this is this guy is not going to turn into a shulker also if uh, because of back spawning sometimes you have a bunch of endermen together and if I get far enough, look at what's going to happen. One of them is going to turn into a shulker, but that's it. Uh, once a shulker appears, it will prevent any endermen around him from becoming shulkers. So another enderman has to be far enough for, for it to turn into a shulker. I think this will work, no? Yes, this is far enough. So if they're far enough, then they will turn into shulkers. Uh, and since the structures in the end are usually uh, smaller than that, you will find just a few of those uh, for each floor. Uh, so let's have a look at the command blocks uh, so that I can explain how this works briefly. So uh, in this case, 
you can see that I'm checking in a radius of 4,000 blocks around this, uh, this system here for Enderman. So if I remove the radius, uh, the radius thingy here, then this will work basically in the entire end dimension. But if not, this will this system will work for only one fortress. So this is this is your choice. So when I find an Enderman, I will if if he's standing on top of a purple block, and the block at the bottom of the map is air, meaning it's it is the end because the Nether as well as the the overworld uh, is supposed to have a bedrock at level zero. So basically, I'm trying to make sure that this doesn't happen. Uh, outside of the end dimension. So if this Enderman is in the end dimension and he sta he's standing on top of a purple block, then we tag him. If the player is next to, to this Enderman, then the player will remove the tag. If, the, if another uh, Shulker is around the Enderman, the, it will also remove the tag from the Enderman. But if none of the, this happens, then the Enderman will summon uh, a a shulker and this is pretty cool because you can change their colors let me interrupt myself here let's maybe try to spawn a lime one here uh, let's make me let's make this guy disappear this guy as well place the enderman there and i didn't know that guys but <laughs> shulkers can also have colors it's not just the shulker boxes the mobs themselves can have different colors so this is pretty cool and yeah, so a shulker is summoned. Let me fix that because this is running on an actual server. <laughs> and finally, we teleport the Enderman away so that uh, the mob cap keeps being balanced. So you don't increase the number of mobs in the map so that they can keep uh, respawning every time. And that's that's how this works. So uh, if you guys want, I can leave the, the comments in a sequence for you guys. Uh, in the video description uh, and I will also provide you guys with a structure uh, where structure basically allows you to to type the name of this thing and this box will appear in your map uh, whatever you want you know so you don't have to copy the commands you just you just install the structure if you don't know how to install structures uh, I, I can also leave you guys a link in the video description for one of my videos where I explain how this works so this system should be really useful for you, especially if you're playing on servers, uh, where a lot of people are going to look for shells because shulker, let's face it, shulker boxes are completely revolutionary. Everyone wants shulker boxes and they want a bunch of them. So with this system, basically, uh, you'll have a fair way of keep farming them without loading tons of chunks on your map that you later have to back up and, you know, <laughs> I, I, I just don't think this system works for servers. You find a fortress, it takes a long time, you kill the shulkers, they will never respawn. I don't, I don't think this works. And I don't think this also breaks the game, because you still have to search for new fortresses if you need the Elytra. Uh, it, would, it won't do anything to the Elytra. So, yeah, I hope I explained this uh, decently. <laughs> if not, guys, make sure to leave me some comments and i will do my best to answer all of you hope that you guys liked this idea uh if so or if not just leave me a comment and i will get back to you as soon as i can so thank you very much for watching and see you next time guys bye